What's happening everybody? Steve here, Rake and Profit over rakeandprofit.com. Coming back to you with another video live from the Mohegan Sun Casino in, I don't know, in somewhere in Connecticut. I'm out in the middle of nowhere and uh, my mother loves to go out to the casino a couple times a year so I like to come and support her when she's not out there flipping and reselling books on Amazon FBA. Usually she's over here at the casino a couple times a year. So over here having some fun. And I had received a question on my YouTube channel asking, Steve, I'm uh, just getting started selling book books on Amazon FBA. Should I start with the Amazon Seller app or should I use Scout IQ? So the Amazon Seller app is a free application that you can download onto your Android device or your iPhone to scan books. What that means is you essentially just open up the app and you scan the barcode with your phone and then it'll pull up all the information, how much it's selling for, how many sellers, sales rank, which is an indicator of sales velocity, how much it sells for. It also will shoot back your profit margins and pretty much give you a uh, good idea of whether you should buy the book or not. Now that's 100% free right there. So this is definitely a great option, the Amazon Seller app for a beginner, somebody who's not looking to spend money with paid applications, somebody who's not really trying to or has the desire to have very advanced um, information because it's a lot of basic information, right? Um, so I think the Amazon Seller app for most new beginner booksellers is gonna be a great option. So I would start there. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit more advanced, something that's gonna give you some more information, something that's gonna allow you to be able to scale your book business quicker, then I would def definitely recommend the number one app out there, and I've used all of them, Scout IQ. So Scout IQ is very similar to the Amazon Seller app. It's an application, you open it, you scan books, it gives you back information. The only difference is it gives you much more information couple more pieces of data which will really help you and also gives you the ability to um, kind of scale quicker and the reason you'll be able to scare scale quicker from my experience is because one you can attach a Bluetooth scanner to it and it works much better than the Amazon seller app uh, number two it has something called triggers right so triggers are rules that you set up within the application and when you're scanning the books with your Bluetooth scanner, what I like to do is put some, some headphones in my ears and it'll automatically make a noise whether I should buy it or I should pass based on the triggers or another word for that is rules that are already set up. So with the Amazon seller app, you have to scan everything mostly by hand. Now you could hook up a Bluetooth scanner but it's not as efficient. You have to always like open the box and close it. It's kind of annoying. If you have a workaround to that, let me know. But it's so quick, like you could scan probably like five to 10 times more books in the same amount of time using Scout IQ because we've got those triggers that are set up. It's already letting us know either with a sound effect or you could visually look on the screen. It'll give you a green um, color for buy and it'll give you a red for pass based on your rules. So you could scan quicker, gives you automatic decisions. And it also has something called an e-score, which is associated um, to each item that you sell. So I believe the e-score is an indicator of how many times the book has sold within the last, um, I think it's 60, six months or three months, it's one of those. But the higher the e-score, the, um, the more the item is sold within the last six months. I believe it's six months, correct me if I'm wrong. So that e-score is a really good indicator of like the ability for it to sell over a long period of time. And the reason is because sales rank is only an indicator or a snapshot of when the last time it sold, right? So for example, if you have a book that's 1 million rank and it sells, it's gonna drop right down to 100,000. So you might scan a book and it's 100,000 rank and maybe it's three, four dollars and you might buy it, but then it might sit for six, seven, eight months because the only reason it was 100,000 rank because it had sold recently. It might've been a four million rank. It might've been sitting for a year, but it sold so it dropped down to 100,000. Over time, when that book doesn't sell, it's gonna slowly creep up. So the e-score is important because the higher the e-score, you can tell how many times it's sold over the last six months. So you have the e-score, you have the ability to scan books much quicker, um, and you also have the triggers, the rules. So you're listening for the sound effect and you're also looking visually. So you can actually like put your phone up on the bookshelf. If you don't have like Bluetooth, um, I use AirPods. You can just scan and you can look. So it's much quicker. When you're using the Amazon Seller app without a Bluetooth scanner, you're having to physically like use the picture functionality on the phone. It's much slower. It's much, much slower. So 
I recommend Scout IQ. If you want to check out Scout IQ, go to rakeandprofit.com slash Scout IQ, and you'll actually uh, be able to get a, I think it's a 14 or a 21-day uh, free trial. So definitely check that out. I think you're going to love Scout IQ. But if you're new, right, because the person who asked me this question is, I'm just starting books. I'm brand new. You know, as much as I love Scout IQ and I personally use, use Scout IQ, um, I, I actually still use Amazon Seller App at times for the, the picture functionality. So if there's no barcode, I'll just use the Amazon Seller App to scan the cover. Um, but I would recommend using the Amazon Seller App because it's free. And when you're new starting your business, one of the biggest mistakes that you want to avoid is getting in over your head in terms of debt, right? So I would minimize the softwares. You know, I'm using all types of software in my business from Acceler List to um, obviously Scout IQ. I got a Bluetooth scanner. I've got Dymo printer. I'm, I'm actually going to be buying a, a 4XL Dymo printer as well for um, my UPS shipping labels because right now I'm just using a brother printer. Um, I'm using a Dymo 450 for my FN SKUs, which is the label that goes over the barcode of the book. So when Amazon receives it, they scan it in. But I would minimize your expenses as much as you possibly can at first. So I would just start with the Amazon Seller app, uh, use that. But then once you start to get to that point where you're selling more than 40, bu 40 books a month, 50 books a month, you move up from your free account to your professional account. And I'm not sure, leave a comment down below. Do you need, help the people out who are new, do you need a professional account in order to scan books with the Amazon Seller app? I don't remember because I have a professional account and I forget when I was new. I don't know, I feel like it lit me, but now I think it changed. So let me know in the comments because I know people are gonna be asking that. But um, yeah, Amazon Seller app's great. I would start with that, but once you get to 40, 50 books a month, upgrade to the $40 a month plan, which essentially, once you're selling more than 50, 40 books a month, it makes sense to upgrade because you're getting charged an extra dollar. And then I would get a Bluetooth scanner. I love the Natamu. Um, I'll put links down to Scout IQ and the Natamu, the Dymo printer, all my supplies if you want to check them out. Um, and then as I'm starting to, or you're starting to build up your profits in your business, start to invest more back into your business, right? Because you want to be able to speed things up. You want to be more efficient, less stressed out. Listing through Amazon Seller Central is a pain in the butt. That's why I love to use Acceler List. I'll put a link to that as well. Another great a great, great software that I enjoy. I like it way more than Inventory Lab. So uh, yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Scout IQ, much better, but again, there's gonna be a monthly fee. I think it's anywhere from like 15 to 40 bucks a month, depending on if you're using just the live mode or the database mode. And that's another reason why I love Scout IQ. They have something called database mode. Now, let me share with you what that is uh, with an example. You ever been to a thrift store and you can't scan anything because there's no internet? You're screwed. Well, with the database mode, you could download Amazon's database before you go in. Now the whole catalog is downloaded into your app, not relying on the internet. So you can actually put your phone on airplane mode and start scanning books so you don't have to rely on the internet. How cool is that? You're literally getting it up on, on the competition. The average person who's going into a thrift store with no internet, they're screwed, they're gonna walk out. But you've got database mode, so that's another great reason. So I'll probably do some videos um, in the future, like literally sharing with you live how Scout IQ works and whatnot. But um, it's great. The guy who founded it is Caleb Roth. He's been on my channel multiple times. He's actually flying into my hometown for some videos in July, and uh, I'll be going to his event. It's called Turn the Page. It's going down in Chicago in July. So great guy. Really believe in what he's doing, and you know I love his app. So start with the Amazon seller app, but then move to Scout IQ. So with that being said, guys, if you enjoyed this video, do me a big favor and like, comment, and subscribe. Also, I want to know, are you going to eBay Open in July? Because eBay Open is going down in July, and I made a video the other day um, sharing that I'll be going there, and I'm also going to be interviewing a bunch of people. So if you're going to be going to the eBay Open, and you'd love to be featured on the Rake and Profit YouTube channel, all you've got to do is go down, and I'm going to put a link down there. I believe it's rakeandprofit.com slash eBay open, and you can fill out a questionnaire. And I'm really trying to find some fans and followers of the channel who would love to share their story, people who are experts in different categories on eBay or even Amazon, and really you know, use this channel to help people and make a difference and share really high-quality content that helps People grow their businesses because that's what this channel is all about. I'm so grateful for eBay and for Amazon for quitting my job at the Cracker Barrel and for being able to have my own destiny and my freedom through online business and, and reselling. And 
I want to help. I want to help more people. So with that being said, keep on picking and making the money, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.